Challenge our offensive line uh, to, uh, you know, be be a more physical unit, uh, protect the quarterback better. Uh, and, and we were hard on those guys this week, and, and they responded in a in a very positive way. Uh, I knew they could play better than what we have up until this point. Uh, so you know that's encouraging to see. That makes us uh, a much more diversified team. I thought Matt was uh, outstanding, uh, 18 for 22. Uh, again, we're completing over 75 percent of our balls. That's you know that's pretty ridiculous this far through the season, and and that's a credit to both those uh, players. Uh, it's a credit to our offensive staff, and, and certainly Coach Selfo uh, does a great job in preparation. But uh, I think it showed great maturity in, in what Matt's been able to to overcome uh, losing his position and, and be that. Uh, delivered in, in his uh, preparation, so I'm, I'm really uh, pleased with that. Uh, defensively, I, I think uh, that was a hard week of preparation. Uh, Jake Locker gives them a lot of different uh, options. They are a little unorthodox in a lot of their uh, formations and what they do and their boots and all that, but uh, again, I thought overall we positioned ourselves pretty well uh, defensively uh, throughout the, that course of the game. And, uh, that you know that was uh, that was it. I thought uh, again our defensive line scoring points uh, obviously uh, frees those ends up to do what they do, and that's that's a pretty uh, lethal uh, group out there when they uh, they're able to rush the quarterback, and that's why offense is important to defense. And uh, that was uh, that was the case uh, tonight. We got ahead and, and made it uncomfortable for them to to run what they wanted to run. So. Uh, again, very, uh, very pleased with uh, uh, the, the whole team. Take questions. Where did Matt impress you most tonight, Coach? Just that he wasn't, uh, he wasn't, uh, uh, he wasn't skittish or jittery. He was ready to go. He was focused and uh, and very calm. Uh, so he was prepared. I think that was uh, that's good to see. He, you know, I'm sure he was a little bit antsy at the beginning, but he didn't he didn't show it, and that that's important to his you know to, to him and his teammates to uh, get off to a good start. Does this give you confidence moving forward now once Nick is back to insert Matt? Maybe I think more? it does. I think it keeps us uh, uh, it keeps that dimension open. Uh, you know, we, we don't know. I think Nick is close. Uh, uh, we'll see. I'll know more Monday, uh, but. It gives us another dimension. I thought Matt did a great job with this uh, being Matt Scott tonight. I, I think that was important. That's the you know I told him just you, just be yourself. You don't have to be anybody but that. Uh, you have talent and use your instincts. And I, I thought he did a good job of that tonight. But he's a good player. He, he's, I'm telling you, man, he's a good player. And I think what happened is because he was prejudged and he lacked maturity to handle. Uh, you know, the quarterback position is one that you can get. It, it's brutal from the fans, from the media, from the coaching staff. If the offense isn't playing well, it's the quarterback's fault. And if unless you've got broad shoulders and a great deal of maturity, you can't handle it. Well, he didn't have that last year. He's an 18-year-old kid. He's only 19 now. But he was able, what he's done with all the adversity that he's faced, put on the bench, all the things that were said about him, written about him, spoken about him, he's fought through it and he's overcome it. And, and well, I think what you're seeing is a talented guy who's now reached a point of maturity that he can handle these things. How did you like the way he kind of thought his way through the game in terms oh, of Oh, I think he did, he did a great job, Anthony. Uh, the adjustments in the run game, I don't know if he was 100% on, but he did a good job in the run game. And then he made some things happen that, that uh, on a cold play, not not the drop back. I don't think anybody's open. And I'll just take off. He did some things that were designed uh, for us to maybe not have a big play, but he turned it into a big play. So that's the part I like the best. This is super important for you. Once Nick comes back, you know, I don't know. That's a hard question. I, I, Nick's still our guy. When he's ready to come back, I would think uh, you know Mike will make that call. 
but uh, what you always you, know, you want depth at every position, in competition, every position, and that's what we've got. I said that in the spring. We've got that, you know, at the quarterback position. We got two good players that we can win in this conference with, and they close them that's got.